Hey everybody, my name is Jennifer. Thank you for taking a minute to stop on my channel. And today I wanna to talk about skin cycling. This word is so hot right now, these two words rather, this phrase, it is everywhere. It is absolutely viral. Everybody is talking about skin cycling. And skin cycling is nothing new. And it's nothing to freak out about, like do I need to be doing skin cycling? Skin cycling has been around forever. Now the term skin cycling recently became all the rage and it went viral when a dermatologist by the name of Whitney Bow back in 2021 coined this phrase because she was a, der a dermatologist and she was seeing so many people coming into her practice that had a lot of really damaged skin because dur back during the pandemic a lot of women at home um, you know people were really isolated and they really missed their facials, the med spa. So they were doing a lot of at-home pampering and at-home facials. And as a result, a lot of people were damaging their skin and that's what she saw. Um, exfoliation, everybody talks about. You've got to exfoliate your skin. It's the best thing for you. However, too much of a good anything is never a good idea. And that also applies to exfoliation. If you over exfoliate your skin, your skin can get extremely thin and rip very easily. It has a very dry aged look to it. It can actually lose color and you don't know, you no longer have that natural skin look. You kind of look like a little gray, a little waxy even. It really does ruin your skin barrier. And a lot of times if you are applying really robust skincare ingredients to your face, you think you're doing the right thing, but what you're actually doing is making your skin overly sensitive. Again, breaking down the skin barrier, which gets you all kind of trouble. And it makes you more sensitive to the sun, looks like you're aging, and mixing too many of these robust ingredients together can actually cancel them out, if you can believe that. And that's a video for another day, but that's something you really need to be concerned about, is be very careful when you're using these really potent skincare items to make sure that mixing two of them together isn't going to create a really bad reaction or like I said make them completely ineffective and then you're just kind of throwing your dollar bills down the drain. So what the heck is skin cycling? Like I said this particular dermatologist got on her TikTok account and coined the term skin cycling. But like I said skin cycling you may have already been doing. Um, if not it's probably not something that you haven't ever considered but it has gone crazy the skin cycling. So what it is is it is where you are rotating your skincare products at night to avoid overly exfoliating your skin so that you don't get the deleterious effects we just discussed like the thin skin and the lack, lack, lack of luster to your complexion. So it's it, like I said it's all about keeping from over exfoliating is what the core skin cycling is and, and it promotes skin recovery or kind of giving your skin a little bit of a break from all of the harsh, abrasive. I mean, there's physical exfoliants. You could be doing your microdermabrasion. You can be using certain brushes. And then there's chemical exfoliation using like your glycolics, your tretinoins, your retinoids, things of that nature. But like I said, too much of that, it's definitely not going to be a good thing. So like I said, exfoliation, it's absolutely necessary for your skin because as we age, our skin cells don't turn over at the rate at which they did when we were younger. So you have to exfoliate, but you can't be going in there exfoliating every day or taking a dang near Brillo pad to your skin or you're really gonna see a strong reaction that you weren't looking for. So skin cycling is an intentional routine to go through an application that involves rotating or cycling your skincare, your evening skincare routine to get the best out of these robust products and minimizing irritation at its core. So it allows you to incorporate all of the things that you want. Like we all want the retinoids. We want the glycolics. We want the vitamin Cs. We all want that. But what we can't do is put all of those on our face every night and thinking we're going to get a great result. You're not because there's no way by the time you're on your fourth or fifth serum on your skin, it can't even penetrate through the products you put it on, let alone the dermis of your skin. So you're just throwing cash down the drain when you're doing that anyways. But you want to use all these great products. And I don't blame you. You want to get these ingredients on your skin. Um, so what you have to do is you have to cycle them so that one night you're using one product, the next night you're using another product. Now, one thing you need to know, you got to simplify this. Do not make this overly complicated. Um, it's something I've actually been doing for a really long time. And the reason being is because I don't really consider myself someone who has sensitive skin, but I am sensitive to the effects of tretinoin. Ultimately, you always want to work your way up to using your tretinoin or your retinoids seven days a week. It's not something I personally can do. And I've been working with retinoin. Well, tretinoin is what I use, which is a generic version. I can't do it seven days a week. I just can't. My skin will flake and peel. <clears throat> Pardon me. And I'm diligent with my skincare, but it's just, it's just not something I can do at this juncture. I don't know. Maybe as I age, I might be able to. But at this point in my life, I'm not able to. So what you do is you set yourself up on a four-day skin cycle. 
where the first night you cleanse, you use your retinoid, you moisturize. The next day you cleanse, use a light exfoliation, you moisturize and so on. Then maybe back on the fifth day or the sixth day, you're gonna revert back to your retinoin or your tretinoin to get back into the routine of doing it. Doing it every single day when you're brand new to that, or if you have acne prone skin or rosacea, you do not want to be doing this. Believe me, your skin's gonna burn, it's gonna get irritated, it's gonna make your acne even worse, and you're not gonna be a very happy camper, believe me, because we all want our skin to look good. <coughs> Excuse me. So that being said, the four night, I'm gonna read a little bit down here of my notes. The four night cycling routine goes as follows, according to Dr. Bo. Now you can make up your own skin cycling routine that works for you. And I highly recommend that you do because remember, everybody's skin is different. There is no one recipe for everybody that's gonna work. There just isn't because I mean, individuality, we are all individuals. We all have different chemical makeups. We all have different skin, skin chemistry. So you need to find what works for you by experimentation. And the best, the best way to find out what works best for you is to start out gentle. Throwing these robust ingredients on your skin to try and hurry up and get the maximum that you can get, you can end up doing a lot of damage or you can end up saying, hey, this stuff doesn't work for me. It's terrible. You throw in the garbage and you never revisit a tretinoin or a retinoid or a vitamin C or a glycolic ever again because you say, oh, that didn't work for me. That might not be the case. The case might be that you just tried it in the improper order or you didn't give your skin enough time to bounce back. Okay. With that being said, <clears throat> excuse me, like I said, you don't have to make, if this is not complicated, and I think because it's gone viral and so many people are talking about it, they're like, oh my gosh, skin cycling, you know, what do we need to know? You really don't need to know anything and you might already be doing it. Keep it simple. You want to incorporate these ingredients, but you got to keep it simple. So don't copy what someone else you see, myself included. <laughs> don't copy somebody else's exact formula for skin cycling. You know, there's people out there that are promoting this. You got to do exactly A, B, C, and D on days one through three through four. You don't do that. I mean, take it as a recommendation, take it under advisement, but above all, figure this out on your own, what works best for you. And I think you're going to be very happy. You're going to have a really good outcome with your skin. So like the must-haves that I personally use, if you want to know what's in my skincare routine, maybe you don't, maybe you do. The things that are my non-negotiables in my skincare routine are, of course, cleansers, retinoids, and sunscreen. Now, I don't use my sunscreen at night. Obviously, I'm not laying out and getting moon rays, but in the morning, I have to use my sunscreen. <laughs> Every day, non-negotiable. Now, I do use a glycolic acid. I do use a vitamin C. I do use a retinoin. A re I keep saying retinoin instead of tretinoin. What is wrong with me? <laughs> I keep mixing that word up. Maybe I'll coin the term, retinoin. <laughs> Maybe I'll come out with my own brand and we'll call it Jennifer's retinoin. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay, anyways. So you don't want to use all of these products on the same night. Set up a schedule for yourself. If you got to write it down for the first couple weeks, put a sticky note on your mirror in your bathroom so that you're doing it correctly. I think you're going to really enjoy skin cycling. And if you've been experiencing any kind of irritation or dryness with products that, <clears throat> excuse me, that are really good for you, you want to give them another chance. I think that you could really start to incorporate them into your skincare if you try out some of these recommendations. And I think that you're going to be really happy and your skin's going to start to look just as beautiful as you are. Remember, beauty comes from the inside out. Always remember that. Never forget that. And I want to thank you if you made it all the way to the end of this video. I really appreciate your support. Please smash that subscribe button. And if you could share my channel with your friends, I would really appreciate that. It really helps me with the algorithm. Of course, I'm really trying to grow my community here on YouTube. Thank you again, and I will see you in the next one.